Hello everyone. Today we are going to draw the pigeon from the book by Mo Williams, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Before we start this drawing, I want you to think of something for the pigeon to say. So, for example, if the pigeon came to school, what would you not let him do? So, what would you not let the pigeon do at school? I want you to think about that because we're going to draw the pigeon and then you're going to write it into a speech bubble at the end. So let's begin. So you're going to need a pencil. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by drawing his head, which is a circle. Then inside of that circle, we're going to draw a big circle. So it's like a circle within a circle. And you can draw an eyeball. And he's going to be talking. So for his beak, we're going to have one curve line and another curve line. And then another one, we're going to do like a happy face and another happy face. So this is a frowning face line with another frowning face line and then a happy face line and another happy face line. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we're going to do its neck. So we're going to go from the head and we're going to go down, kind of go out just a little bit. He's got a long neck. Then at the bottom here, we're going to make another smiley face line. I would go back. And you can go ahead and connect these two together. That's going to be his body. For his wing, we're going to create another curve line another smiley face line, and just a line coming back. You don't have to connect them, leave them open. Then we're also going to have his wing, and you can put it up, you could put it out. You don't have to have it out. I'm gonna have mine out like he's pointing. So a nice little triangle. For his feet, his feet are really simple. They're just lines. So I'm gonna have one out so it's a line with three lines on the end and then i'm going to have another one but this one is bent so i'm going to have it go out and back one two three so there's my pigeon uh, let's finish up the pigeon by adding the line that's by his neck and then at the top here, I'm going to have a speech bubble. So for my speech bubble, I'm going to create like a triangle, like the end of a triangle. And then I'm going to create a box. So going around this, I'm going to create like a little box. And you can make your box big or small, but inside of here is what I'm going to write uh, what my pigeon can't do at school. But before I do that, I'm also going to decorate the background. <clears throat> now, I want you to decorate the background with shapes. It could be hearts. It could be square circles. I'm going to do circles. Do some small circles, some big circles, some big ones, small ones. Kind of just going to fill up my page with these circles. Now you can do any kind of shape you want. And then just in a moment, I'm going to write what my pigeon can't do at school. So you could either put what you don't want the pigeon to do at school, like don't let the pigeon something something, or maybe you could put what the pigeon wants. So. I'm going to put what the pigeon wants. <laughs> so I want to I want to paint. So you can put 
Maybe he's, we don't want him to paint. Don't let him paint. Don't let the pigeon paint. Or maybe, like I said, you could put what he wants. So you could either put don't let the pigeon do something in school. Or maybe he is talking and says, I want to do something in school. All right. So once you have this, then we're going to start outlining. The only thing we're going to outline in here is uh, the pigeon and what he's saying. We're going to leave the circles alone because the circles are just going to be the background. Next, we're going to color in our pigeon, and he's like a blue color, but you can make him any color you want. I think I'm going to do a mixture of colors, like blue and gray together. You can mix your crayons a little bit to get different colors <clears throat> just by putting one color on top of another color you kind of create another another color <laughs> I'm going to color in his eye with my marker. And then I'm going to color his beak yellow or you could do orange. This part of him is going to be kept white. You could color in his eye if you want. You're more than welcome to color in that as well. Your little speech bubble. I think I'll do orange. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to <clears throat> paint a little bit of my background. All right, so now I'm going to paint. I'm also going to use crayon a little bit as well. I'm going to use crayon to outline my shape and then paint inside of it. And you can use any color you want for this. I'm going to try to use like brighter colors in the background. It's like orange. Hello. 
Now I'm going to use a paintbrush. I'm going to have some paint here. I would say if you don't have watercolor, I would definitely invest in some watercolor. It's so easy to use. So many ways to use that. I'm going to start off with yellow. So it might not look like I have a lot of yellow, but there actually is quite a bit of yellow in there. You just have to get it off the sides and add the water to it. <clears throat> It's red, which is really going to be pink. By the time it goes on here, it's more pinkish than red. And the reason I like to use the crayon first kind of acts like a barrier. So it helps prevent bleeding of colors. So when I start doing the rest of the background, um, I'm going to be painting the background. I think I'm going to do green, like a yellow green. So it's nice and bright and colorful. Now you don't have to paint or color the background if you don't want to for this. Uh, you could add more shapes in there. Just make it nice and colorful somehow. There you go.